Welcome, this is a quick tutorial of the recruiting tab in the admin area. On the recruiting tab are all of your recruiting options. This is the hub of recruiting activity. This is where you approve and deny applications. This is where you create your guild application. And this is where you set your basic recruiting status options. I'm gonna go through the options that are available here. The first thing you come to is the recruiting tab where the most used options are available right in front of you as well as the list of pending applications, the number of pending applications is on the right. If you click that number, you immediately go to the pending applications. On the pending applications page will be a list of all applications that have not been accepted or rejected. There are options here when you accept a person to set their guild rank, to set their permission group, whether they're raid ready, as well as to add a personalized note. You can view their user profile, you can send them a PM, and you can view forum posts. The view forum post is the post that was made when their application was submitted. There are options in the system to post the application both to admin and a forum post. This allows guild members to discuss applications. In addition, there's auditing information such as the user IP and the app date. Uh, you can use this information to see if maybe a person's submitting multiple applications. Uh, you can also put notes. And when you put a note in, any recruiting admin will be able to see it. You can use this to track notes of maybe you've talked to the person or maybe you know them personally and add notes so another admin can see it or you can see it later. So when you accept an application, it goes into the accepted application page. You can see all the same information, you just no longer have an accept option. If you rejected them, the same option would appear except they would be in the rejected page. The next uh, options are the recruiting status. There are two things you can set here. One is whether your guild is recruiting and whether to display recruiting status on the public site launchpad. The launchpad site has the ability for you to put an advertisement for your guild on the site. And if you turn this option on here, you can configure whether to display in a basic description of your guild. The next option is recruiting by class info. Recruiting by class allows you to enter class names show icons and the number of those particular classes that you're recruiting. This information shows under the apply to guild link on the site and with the icons if they're available for your game. The next thing is the application. There are two types of applications. There's basic and advanced. A basic application is a big text box it lets users fill it out. The advanced app lets you put drop downs and text areas and fields, set them to be required and yes no options. It, it's a much more advanced type of application. There are two other options available for all applications. One is whether to ask for character info. The other one's whether to ask for availability info. If you require character info, the user will be presented with a character info form that lets them provide the username, the class, I'm sorry, the character name, the class, and information of that type. The system will actually build an armor URL if you play WoW, or will just present the information if you play a game that doesn't have uh, that level of integration. For availability info, the user will be asked what days of the week they're available and their confidence interval. Essentially, the confidence interval is a range of never to always. You know, most users would say often or almost always, but they can go by days of the week and give you a general idea of what their availability is and you can use that information for recruiting decisions. The next option is forum posting. With the forum posting option on, all applications will be posted to the configured forum, and there are also private application settings available for this, and there's an FAQ available uh, linked on this page for you to read them for more, more information about that. The next option is the auto responses. Application auto responses are sent to a user when they're accepted or declined. This is an opportunity for you to say, welcome to the guild, please read these posts, or to say, sorry, we can't you know, accept you right now, maybe try again later. The last option is a launch code. The launch code is a password that allows the user to bypass the application process and immediately gain member level access to a site. It should be treated like a password, but you can give it out you know, freely to your members because a member with basic member level access does not have the ability to mess up your site. However, I wouldn't just give it out randomly. So that's the recruiting tab. There's a lot of options here. Hopefully now with this, this basic intro, you can go out, configure them, and play with them on your own, and use the tools to recruit for your guild.
Thank you.